Hey everyone, so I'm in Thailand. When you think of Thailand, you either think about the parties in Phuket or you think about one of those touristy islands, maybe Krabi or Fifi. But the place where I am going today is not very famous among tourists. It's definitely not the first place that you think of. And I have been wanting to come here forever. So I am so, so excited to be visiting. And I can't wait to show you guys the best kept secret of Thailand. After checking in at the Khao Sok Lake office, we were driven to the park entrance. They have given us two raincoats to use inside the park, so I guess it's going to rain a lot. We paid an entry fee of 200 baht and boarded a long tail boat which would be taking us further inside the park. The Khao Sok National Park is one of the most beautiful national parks in all of Thailand. It stretches across 740 square kilometers and we are currently seeing just one part of this humongous national park. This is the Chao Lan Lake. I can't stress enough on how vast it is. From left to right, it's just endless. This place is Behar Kutsura. What if I told you that this enormous lake is actually man-made? There used to be five villages in this valley which had to be evacuated so that this lake can be built. A dam was built, cutting off the river and flooding this entire area to form the beautiful lake that we see today. You feel nothing but pure bliss as you sail across its emerald waters trying to take in the vastness of this place. And as if you weren't feeling tiny enough already, you are constantly surrounded by these giant limestone cliffs that keep coming into sight one behind the other. Mm. They have given us some sticky rice. And this, my friends, is where I will be staying for the night. I want to show you guys the room. There are two double beds for me and Blue. Absolutely cute and cozy. This is the washroom. So hungry. Ah, we take Korean. I'm taking Korean. We take vegetarian food in Thailand. I think we take a vegetarian in the resort. My favorite part about this place is definitely how accessible the water is. It's clean and it's inviting. There's a kayak parked outside each cottage, so you can literally go kayaking or just jump into the water at any point you like. Sit today, sit, sit right here. My son will also go, go with us. Hello, my son. <laughs> okay. He's the captain of the kayak and I'm the spot. Yeah, 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 it's really fine. He's tired? No. He's a water baby. Yeah, he's a water baby. So I have come here in the month of August. Even though it's raining, it's so beautiful. The forest around me is just lush green. You know, you can just sit here for hours, just reading your book, having some wine or a beer. But yeah, if you do plan to come here, you should probably think of coming maybe between November and April because you'll definitely get clearer weather. Sometimes they even cancel some of the activities which are not possible in the day. So that way you'll also be able to enjoy all of the activities. Just a few other things. 
the electricity only comes in the evening so throughout the day there's absolutely no electricity there's also no wi-fi and no network only if you go and stand at that one particular spot that's the only time you'll get network so it's just an amazing place to just cut off from the rest of the world literally spend time with yourself or your family or your friends The silence of the morning was filled with so many unique sounds of birds and insects. Waking up in this place filled me with tranquility and truly made me feel like I'm in the lap of nature. Early morning, 6.30 a.m. and we are going for a morning safari. Apparently, it's one of the oldest evergreen rainforests in the world and it is supposed to be a 160 million year old ecosystem. If you look closely, the trees and leaves have grown in such wild patterns, forming such a dense canopy. It really seems like this forest has been around forever. It is home to so many diverse species of wildlife and this morning we were trying to spot a few of them. <laughs> so after breakfast we are going on a hike the entire forest has come alive the trees are lush green and i can hear these beautiful nature sounds all around me from birds to insects it's beautiful if you are coming here bring hiking shoes or something with a good grip don't underestimate how slippery and mucky this trail can be, especially because of the rains. They also give these kind of shoes on rent for about 50 baht per person. But the shoes that they have given us, they are really helping. I mean, they are amazing. The grip is just too good and I wish I could take them home and use it in Maharashtra while hiking. So there are a lot of leeches here and one of them bit me. And since then, I'm just checking my legs every Five This cave is about 250 million years old and can you believe that it only grows by 3 millimeters each year? If you put the torch on this, it casts the shadow of an evil old witch. No, and witch. ma. Yeah. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Turn around.
the undeniable raw beauty of this place was just taking my breath away. It is one of those rare places in this world where you get to experience adventure, nature and luxury all at the same time. This whole experience is organized by a company called Khaosok Lake. And what I especially liked is how much flexibility they offer in terms of pricing. You could choose a budget accommodation with basic amenities for about $100 or go all out with a luxury cottage for up to $600. You can even choose what activities you are interested in doing and how many days you want to spend here and accordingly pick a package that suits you best. They even offer one day tours where you can visit the national park and do some of the activities but you don't actually spend the night. But if you're gonna come all the way here then I don't think you want to miss out on this experience of spending a night in the middle of the lake in a floating raft. Also it really gives you the time that is required to actually soak in the beauty of this place. Because even after spending two days here, I was feeling like my time here was ending rather too quickly. about how I'm getting to this place. Khaosok is about 160 kilometers away from Phuket. So you can go there from Phuket or you could go there from Krabi. In Khaosok, they have tours. They start in the morning by like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. You really have to reach there early in the morning. Since the journey takes about three to four hours, if you want to reach by 10 a.m., you need to leave Phuket or Krabi by 6 a.m. or at least by 6.30 a.m. At that time, there's no bus going there, there are no shared minivans going there. So literally the only option that I had was to take a private taxi from Phuket, which cost me 2,200 baht. To come back, uh, because it's in the afternoon, there are shared minivans available, there are buses available. 